go. We're back. It's barbecuing. Today, we're going to be doing a lote, aka Mexican street corn. Do it straight on the cob, throw it on the grill. We're going to be doing this two ways. We're going to do it like more traditional style with like uh, some mayonnaise, which I know sounds weird, but trust me with this. And then some hot sauce, cilantro, maybe a little uh, cheese on there. The other way we're going to do it is we're going to smash up some of these bad boys. Takis. We're going to throw some hot sauce on there, roll it, the mayo, throw the Takis on. It's actually really good, a neat little surprise. So uh, let's get to it. So the technique for this is basically what we're going to do is we're going to take, take our corn. In, and I like to just take off the first few outer leaves just to be done with it. Uh, and then you just kind of slowly peel back whatever leaves allow you to pull you pull back. And you don't want to go all the way off. You just kind of, you're going half, you know, three quarters almost all the way to the bottom, but you're leaving those leaves on. So we'll do this around the whole thing here. All right. We got all the leaves pulled back. Now we just need to get this little uh, hairy, nasty stuff off here. You don't want that in your corn. And obviously this can be a little bit of a tedious process, especially if you're doing this for like a big party and a ton of people. So it helps get the kids in here. Kids have fun doing this, something easy they can do. It doesn't need to be perfect, but this is about what we're doing. A few extra of these little strands aren't gonna really hurt anything. So now that that's done, we just kinda re-apply uh, those little leaves around the whole thing. All right, we got our corn. The last step here is we're just gonna soak these in a pot of cold water for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. That's just gonna help these not catch on fire. The other thing is if you're cooking over like a live flame, uh, the husks after they dry out can possibly catch on fire, so you wanna keep an eye on this. Uh, so we'll just let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes. If you don't have time for that, just run them under the faucet for a second and just get some water in there, and that'll help uh, the moisture stay in the corn and help them not quite dry out as much. So let's get these things on the grill. Corn's been soaking in the water for about 10 minutes. Uh, we've got it dehusked. We're making elote again. Uh, this is one of those things, it's like, like I said, Mexican street corn, the corn you get at like the fair, the only way I'll ever eat corn anymore. So these are just going straight on. We have the grill on like kind of a medium low. This is gonna take probably about 30 minutes. We'll just get these on and we're gonna rotate them about every seven to eight minutes just to kind of make sure that, you know, well, number one, you wanna make sure the husk aren't catching on fire, but number two, just to, you know, rotate it, get a nice even cook. So. See you guys in a few. Elote is done. Check these things out. They look absolutely incredible. This is exactly what we're looking for. You got nice char on the uh, corn here. If you touch it while it's on the grill, just really quick because it's hot, uh, you should feel the corn kernels give a little bit and that's what lets you know that it's done. But uh, yeah, these things are looking absolutely amazing. So we're gonna get these things off, let them cool down so we can uh, actually touch them and we'll get these things assembled. Elote is done. This is how this is going down, all right? We got our corn here. The cool thing about this, doing it this way with the husk still on, is when you peel the husk back, you can leave it on and it kind of just creates a little handle for your uh, corn there. Right? Perfect. So, traditional elote first. We got the mayonnaise, like I said. I, I know it sounds weird. It's a thing. I'm not even a big mayonnaise person. Don't really like it to be honest, but this is like probably the only time this and tuna are probably the only time I'll ever eat it. So we'll slather this with mayo here. Now the uh, mayo's on. We're gonna go with Cholula hot sauce and we'll just douse this with it. Now, I usually have cotija cheese. It's like a crumbly Parmesan style cheese on hand in the fridge. Somehow I managed to run out and not even realize it. However, Parmesan cheese works just as well. I think the cotija is just a little saltier, but this works just as good. We'll just give this a liberal coating while making a giant mess. All right, now that we got all that on, fresh cilantro goes on. And last but not least, a little squeeze of lime. And there you have 
your traditional elote. Tons of flavor, so amazing. Now time for that Takis one. What I did here is I just threw some of the Takis in a, in a Ziploc bag. You wanna get all the air out of it, at least as much as possible here. And then leave just a little opening in the bag so when you're smashing it, it doesn't explode. So I got a big rolling pin here. We're just gonna mash this as much as possible. So if you've never had the Takis, uh, they're like a tortilla chip in a roll form. They just kind of roll it up and fry it like a tortilla chip, but they're like, I don't know, spicy and sour and just really good. They're like a Dorito times 10. So what we're gonna do now is we'll just dump this onto the cutting board. We got our corn again, do the same thing, wrap this back. All right, then we're gonna go through the same process. We're gonna do the mayonnaise. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of that Cholula on here. And what this is basically gonna be is that binder to stick this to the Takis. And we're just gonna roll this over. Do the same thing, one last little uh, lime here. Coat this. And there you have it, Taki Elote. Stuff's amazing. So that's round two. I know I said we were gonna do two. Let's kick it up a notch. We'll go three, see what we got in store for this. Here we go, last but not least, barbecue corn, right? Got some sweet baby rays here. Parmesan goes on. Now, I tried this the other day, kind of prepping for this video, and I'm not gonna lie, I was pleasantly surprised at how good barbecue on corn is. So, and then last but not least, we got the cilantro. There you have it, elote three ways. We got the traditional, the uh, mayo and the Cholula, cilantro, a little lime juice. We got the Taki version, and then a little more American style, we got the barbecue. Definitely recommend you trying these. You will never go back to the way you cook corn before. Grilled corn is by far the best. So, we're barbecuing. Please don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.